Yeah, I just thought I'd come out here today and see if there was any musket balls or Enfields or anything like that still left because I know a lot of people have been hunting out here. So basically, from the foreshore to here, I have not had one signals. Uh, basically, this is my first one down here. It looks like an Enfield. And, uh, it's just an Enfield bullet. But that suggests to me that this has really been hunted by quite a lot of detectorists now that have watched our videos. Uh, between me and Dave, because we both did quite a lot of hunts out here. Uh, I don't think there's quite a lot left here. But uh, I'll plod along for an hour or two and uh, see what comes out. I want to do a wee bit of look in the day for a cannonball as well, so fingers crossed. That's what I'm here for, to look for cannonballs. Uh, so I'll be iron digging most of the day, so I'll do this for an hour and then we'll have a look and see if we can get a cannonball. Right, I'll get back to you in my next hit. Right guys, quick hit, just dug it. Here we go, another Enfield. That's cool, number two of the day. Right guys, just dug it again, just came out of the hole. Here we go, uh, Enfield number three of today. Yeah, uh, see if I've had a wee patch here. There's the first hole, there's the second hole, and uh, there's another hole just over there. I'm leaving them open just now, and then I'll fill them all later on. Just to make sure I get everything. Right guys, just dug it there, he's there. Hey, it looks like a big fishing sinker. There we go, I'll wait for fishing way. That's cool, I've never found one of them out here before. Somebody must be out here fishing. Oh well, that's another cool wee find that we've missed before. Hey, let's keep holding on then. Right guys, just dug it, here we go, another Enfield. There we go, that's cool. This was the lowest tide of the month, so it's actually brought in quite a few bullets because in theory I hunt this patch quite a fair bit and uh, once you hunt it you can take all the bullets and then once you get a lowest tide it seems to all wash back in again so I'm hoping this is going to be a start of a good day because I'm finding stuff and uh, it was a couple of months ago I hunted it and I know quite a fair a lot of people hunt this part so uh, I'll plod on so I think there's going to be quite a lot out here as you can see the tide's a fair bit out, uh, further than normal, so uh, I'm just going to get towed in before it starts coming in. Right guys, another hit, another Enfield. Here we go, that's cool, should be another couple around here. Uh, one there, one over there, one up there. So I can have scattered in a wee patch here, so uh, I'm just going to keep detection around this wee patch so I get them all. Hopefully there'll be quite a few. Right guys, just dug it, here we go. <coughs> First musket ball off today. That's cool. Right, eh, uh, I'm going to pull it on because this seems to have dried up here after about 8 Enfield, so uh, I'm going to try another spot and uh, hopefully I'll get back to you with some more hits. Right guys, another hit, here we go, another musket ball. Eh, uh, I'm on fire right now, eh, uh, in a wee spot here. So basically, eh, uh, I'm only going to show you some of the stuff that's inside this bag. Uh, I'll do a round up shortly because there's quite a lot coming out here. I'm actually, I was going to search for cannonballs today, but I'm actually going to try and beat my record in musket balls in Enfields. So uh, I'll get back to you shortly and uh, we'll do a round up and see how many I've got. Right guys, I just got a hit down this hole. Now, uh, first thing I'm going to say is, on the Metal Detective Forum recently, I've seen a few guys that have been saying about the doers, uh, how it does they find things uh, on wet beach. Well, I disagree with what these guys are saying. I think that uh, they're hunting beaches where there's nothing to be found, basically. And that's why they think that the doers isn't that great at wet beach. I have just found an Enfield bullet, and it's nearly over 10 inches. Just to show you, just about 10 inches with the doose of wet beach. Now that's in clay, as you can see, there's a clay there. Solid. And I found that at 10 inches, so if I can find an Enfield bullet at 10 inches, there's no reason why you can't find coins or gold, jewellery, anything at all, bullets out in the beach with a doose. I mean, I think this is uh, crazy talk for people that don't really know the machine too well, but uh, I love this machine. And I'm telling you, if you use your machine properly, you will find pinches, you will find things at 10 inches with that machine, not a problem. Just for my celery coin, nothing too exciting. Two pens, fairly worn. Oh well, still a coin. 
Uh, I still see something else down the hole. I've already had an Enfield now a coin, and I'm going to go back down and find out what the last thing is down the hole, and then uh, I'll get back to you. Right, guys, just dug it out of the hole. Here it's here. It's another big bullet. Not an Enfield this time. I uh, can't remember what that one is, but uh, I'll look it up and find out what it is. Uh, on the round up. Right guys, just dug it, here it's here. Such a small little hit, it's just a pistol ball. That's cool, that's another wee find. That's be up to four different types of bullets now. Also needs a three ringer, two ringer. And uh, a couple other ones, I think we'd have a full lot. Uh, so I might try and see if I can find a two ringer and a three ringer as well. That would top my day off. Right guys, just dug it, there we go. Hey hey, a little two ringer. That's me down here looking for a free ringer now, and uh, hopefully we'll get one of them as well. And then I think it's just one other bullet after a free ringer, would be a four ringer. And uh, I can't remember what the other one is, but it's just normally found just over there, across the bottom, so we normally find them. So uh, I'll just keep bodding along till I find them. Here we go, one of the other bullets I'm looking for. Yes, it's a free ringer, it is smashed up, which is unfortunate, but it is a free ringer. That's cool. Right, uh, probably about one or two bullets to go. There's a mystery bullet and there's one I normally find over there. So uh, I'm going to see if I can find them all the day because it's very early that you can come on here and uh, find one every bullet. But it is the lowest tide uh, of the year, I think it is, or one of the lowest tides of the year. Uh, so this is why I hunted it today, because I knew it was a really low tide last night. Stuff would have come in and then it went back out again. So. My theory was right, a lot of bullets have come in because it was a really low tide and uh, that's probably the theory if you're going to hunt this, hunt this at the lowest tide I mean it doesn't take you two minutes to look up Google tide times and find out when's the lowest tide because I find when you hit it at the lowest tide or after a storm that's when you find a lot of stuff Right guys, just dug it, here we go, got a coin <laughs> Probably not too big. Uh, uh, let's go and clean it. We'll just clean it in the water here to find out what it is. I have no idea what that is. Right, I'm going to need to look that coin up. I've no idea what it is. Uh, I can see cotton something on it. Uh, I'll need to clean that up. I don't think that's a coin in this country. Or it could be an old totem. I don't know. That's a cool little find actually. I was expecting that to be a 2p. I think they a 2 pens, but it's actually not. It's some kind of token. I'm going to check that out and uh, see if I can find out what it is because it's not one that I recognise. Right guys, I've just had a wee look at that coin, it says Adelphi Cotton Works. Now, I'm not sure, I, I, I could be wrong saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. I think that could be a counter stamp of George III. If I'm wrong, shoot me down in the comments and say I'm wrong. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing, I think it's a counter stamp of George III. I briefly remember seeing things uh, like this before and it would have been a half penny. If I'm wrong, shoot me down. If I'm right. Well done for me remembering. <laughs> but it's a great find. Woohoo! Right guys, here we go. Coin number three of the day. Let's find out what he is. It's a half penny. Ah, he's totally gone. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, half penny. I think totally gone. Not far from where I just found that. I don't think cotton works. Yeah, coin. So I'm just going to have a wee. Uh, about in this area, and uh, I'm going to see if I can find any more because if there's two coins in quick succession, there's bound to be more. Right, guys, going to tell you a wee story right? Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, around the back of the castle, it's just around the other side of the castle uh, where you can't detect. Uh, basically, there was a horse that drowned there a couple of years ago, and uh, Simon just found a horse's jaw, <laughs> so that's probably part of the horse that drowned. 
there you go, fantastic man. <laughs> and you're going to keep it, aye? Oh yeah. Because you're a morbid cunt. Why? <laughs> 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 Right guys, I'm going to call it a day for this hunt, it's been quite a successful hunt, uh, quite a lot of musket balls, Enfields, uh, two ringers, three ringers, and uh, a couple other bullets, uh, I got an unknown coin, I think it might be a George Ford counter stamp, I'm not sure, uh, I'll get that checked out, uh, we had Simon out with today, he had a wee bit of an incident, dropped his control box in the water, so it does pay to put a bit of tape on the end of your machine, he's lucky he didn't break it, uh, but I'm going to do a roundup when I get to the car and I'll show you what we found because the idea of the day was it was one of the lowest times of the year so I thought I would come out and just have my, have a try and see what we found and uh, it turns out to be quite a successful day so I'll show you the roundup at the car right guys good luck happy hunting and uh, I'll see you on the roundup right guys just going to do a quick roundup here at the car uh, there's 69 Enfields uh, there's a fair amount of musket balls, uh, there's a three ringer, uh, a pistol ball, two ringer, there's some other bullets. I get three coins, one looks like a half penny, a two pence, a twenty pence, and that looks like that's a cotton coin that we think might be George III uh, stamped. We're not sure, uh, I'll check it out in the roundup. Uh, so it was about 109 bullets all in, not including the squash ones that I've got there. If you include them, it would probably take you over about 112. Uh, that's no bad for three hours working the foreshore, sure, so I'm quite pleased with that. We've got some bomb shrapnel here as well, a fishing sinker in the back end of a spoon. Uh, that was all down to, I think, uh, following the tide times and one of the lowest times of the year. One of the lowest tides of the year. Uh, so I think that's probably why we found so much today, because so much has come in with the high tide and, uh, and it probably just stayed. Uh, so we've been a wee bit lucky today because we've hunted parts that we've hunted before and there's been no signals and a couple of months have passed and we've went back and uh, it's full of signals again so they must be coming in with the tides. Right guys, I'm going to call it a day for now. Good luck, happy hunting and uh, I'll catch you in the next hunt.